neighbors oh welcome back to the neighborhood okay yes as y'all can see i got all of my dollar general dollar flowers that i am about to start working on my patriotic colors as well as i want to do a reef and i want to do a diva reef as well so with that this is what i'm working on today hopefully when i finish then again i may even set up the camera so y'all can watch me do it being that i don't have enough followers to go live on youtube okay again you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button how about that do a sister that solid okay and with that y'all take a look around i know y'all is a tired of seeing me constantly <laughs> change up this office but y'all i got some real cabinets this time okay and a real top okay and it looks so nice yes see my cabinets right there and then i got the got a new chair as y'all can see got my new chair then i got this furniture piece hopefully y'all can see that got my sewing stuff down there this is all my sewing stuff. Yes. Sewing machine here. And I reworked the room. I reworked how I was going to utilize my table space. Okay. So I got the L shape. As y'all can see. The L shape. And I also have the drawers down here. And in those drawers are various things that while I'm working on my machine here. Or... I am decorating or making my wreaths or my diva wreaths or whatever I'm doing up here. I have the space to do that. And all of my equipment is there. Something I can just reach and grab. Um, and with that, you guys, I am trying to set up my little studio, my little camera light over there in the corner. So I can actually start shooting from this angle and hopefully... If I'm sitting this way, if I'm sitting this way, my backdrop will be my nice curtains I just put in here. Okay. And you guys, I like this setup a whole lot better, but I am still working on a comfortable chair for my desk because I moved my desk over here above the pegboard there or beyond uh below the pegboard and i got a smaller cabinet so i can put my machine on my printer on okay and this is just my mm, decorative pieces of what i made that i'm so proud of that i'm leaving up there for my backdrop if i choose to film this way okay so yes I am actually loving it, but I am working on a chair. Hopefully, that is a chair. Hint, hint, someone can get me for Mother's Day. We're not going to call no names, but hopefully. And again, you guys, this is the new setup, and this is what I'm working on. So, why don't y'all come along with me, okay? And let me give you a spin around on 360 of my room. Okay, and it's going to be fast because I'm not trying to make nobody dizzy. Mm -hmm. And my black and white theme is looking pretty good, y'all. I'm loving my black and white theme. And I did add me a TV up here because I do like that noise level when I'm up in here. Uh -huh. So, y'all, this is it. This is what I'm working with. Okay. And I think it turned out pretty good. Hopefully, this will be the last time I come in with an office tour or new changes in my office. But I am getting it together because, you guys, God has blessed me. Because I literally have people calling for orders now. So, don't forget, if you need something from me, if you want something custom made, if you want anything, you guys, www.CandyCaneCorners.com. Go on that website. Check me out, okay? Mm. I can also do my brand logo, okay? Y'all, 
ain't God good? And as the, as the old people say, won't he do it? Okay. Peace for now. What up, neighbors? Welcome back to the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, I just finished my workout, you guys. And before I went and took a shower, I wanted to come and demonstrate or show you guys what I have gotten. Okay. Now, I have a lot of issues, and I hear a lot of my YouTubers that I love to listen to always in a struggle with their tripod. Okay? So, y'all, I wanted to find something that when I'm making my crafts, it would be above me. Something that shoots down at any angle that I can make taller and just look down at the crafts itself. So... What I found on, yeah, you know, my favorite spot, well, I'm always and forever ordering for them, is Amazon, right? This right here, you guys. I found this, and it came in, of course, and it is called a desktop C-clamp light stand with a 360 rotatable ball head, and it got the one four screw Right there on the end of it, you guys. Right there. And I'm thinking, okay, I could clamp this to my desktop. I could clamp this to my shelves that I just, y'all saw me recently put up. You know what I'm saying? If I'm sitting at that angle. With well, any angle I'm sitting at, I want to be able to shoot without trying to pull out this big tripod that I have. And it's not tall enough. It's not working the way that I want it to work. Okay, so this was the perfect find. And even though some people may think it's a little pricey, I only paid $28.99. And I am going to demonstrate, or at least try to demonstrate to you guys, how this works. Okay, so I'm holding my desktop tripod now. And y'all, it does not stretch. It does not do anything except for you can push the legs together and make it like... um. A camera uh, like you're holding the camera okay it's not even like a selfie stick and I pay a pretty penny for this one because it balanced the camera it's supposed to okay but this right here what we working at it came with these two screws it came with the I'm assuming the c-clamp and this right here is y'all it's aluminum iron okay under the bottom of this it has a velvet lining right there, so it won't damage anything that you choose to clamp it to, okay? And now, I'm going to tell you guys, I have not used this yet. And I'm putting it together in front of you guys, because I want y'all to see me demonstrate and work with it and put it together how it should be. All right. It says this, this stick right here, it says that it can let up and let down. We finna see, turn this knob, and I wish I had, see... This is why I needed this. Because I can't demonstrate this. I can't demonstrate this, you guys. Let me see. See? We all over the place with this. This this tripod. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Can we hold this? Hold this right here. And I'm working with my left hand, y'all. So this left hand is not my dominant hand. So we're going to be wobbly. Okay? All right, I'm hoping y'all can see. Okay, right here. Okay, this little piece right here. You can twist it, and it can. Oops. See, I'm all out of frame. It's supposed to be able to let down and let up, and it's stretched out, you guys. Okay, it's, this is the part right there, and it's stretched out all the way up here. Okay. So if you want to stand it up, if you want to stand it up, yeah, and there you go. All the way down. That is how it's looking so far. Okay. And this is where I want to clamp it to so I could do my crafts. Okay. And I did make another video because you guys, I did do something else to my office. So now I have a real tabletop, okay? Now this one right here, this right here, it twists off. 
This is the ball head. Oop. Twist off and fail. Okay, so I'm assuming you can sit your camera up here if you choose to. But, of course, I want the ball head because when you, it can turn, it can spin, it can do whatever you want it to do in either direction. Okay? All right. So, I am going to twist mine back up here. Okay? Twist the back, twist my ball head back on here. And, ooh, what is this now? What is going on right there? Okay, now let's see. Can we twist it on without all the struggle? Okay. Mm, there we go. Mm, okay. Now we can put that back on. Y'all, I hope I'm demonstrating accordingly. We finna turn this and let it back down. We finna turn this little knob here. And we're going to scooch it back down. Y'all see how it come back down in there? Okay. Okay. Just tighten that so it don't go nowhere. Okay. Now, we finna actually try to put this C-clamp, this piece right here. And I'm assuming you got three holes right there. Hope y'all can see, see these three holes right. See. see them three holes? One, two, three. Three holes there. Okay. Come back and lift you up some more. Okay. Put you there. All I got to readjust this thing. Okay. These are the three holes. This right here. Let me see. This this is this is your C clamp right here. Where you can move it. Twist it down. However that far you want it. This, I'm, I'm, my wood is what, uh, one half, it's like a half inch, half inch thick, about that thick. So, I'm going to go with the shortest one, which I'm going to put my screws in the first one and the second one. Because you can't stretch it out if you got a lot more. Y'all see that, right? You can't stretch it out. It goes up, and you see this little piece right there? The longer you stretch it down, you got... So, if you got thick wood that you want to put in there and hold it and clamp it down, you can. But, I'm going to go all the way up here on mine and utilize one and number two. And, again, this is this left hand, you guys, which I'm not the best with. My right hand is my dominant hand. Okay? So, again, y'all bear with me. I'm trying to demonstrate this little C-clamp tool to you. But I think I might like it. And we're going to put the biggest camera I got up here. And you guys, I don't know if I put a video out about the epic fail of my camera that I had got. And I got the screws to go with it to make my screw hole bigger. I don't know if I put that out or not. Okay, you guys. I had to got these from Amazon. Okay, we're gonna unscrew this. Okay, y'all see that? That is a 3/8 screw. And it fits in this big hole there. Now, the hole that's up under the bottom of my camera, you guys, it's done exploded out. It's it's gone. So my camera couldn't fit on the tripod. And when I tried to force it on the tripod, it wouldn't video it wouldn't shoot anything so i'm assuming the screw was too deep up in there what i tried to do and each time i tried to put a bigger screw in the hole it will mess up the camera it will you couldn't take a picture you couldn't uh, uh video you couldn't do anything so what i done was where that screw hole is i took me some crazy glue and some more type of glue. I just mix some glue together to make sure this wouldn't come off. And put it around that camera hole and put this screw piece on top of it. And that is my handmade version of my hole, okay? Now, this hole is a 3-8 hole, which is too big for most camera stands, okay? And tripod. 
So I had to go back and get a double sided 3 8 and a 1 4 hole. And these little doohickeys right here from Amazon, they only cost maybe like 5 or $6. So I got one that's a 3 8 and that's a 3 8 hole. And on the back of it, it's smooth like this. Smooth like that. So now, I just screw that in there. And that's how I get my one-fourth hole, you guys. And I can actually shoot on this camera now. But, this is the thing. My computer will not take this camera activity no more. So, pretty much this camera, it works. But I cannot shoot video and then upload it to my computer. It won't do none of that. Okay? So, it's just here. But, we're going to use it to demonstrate. Okay, this is a heavy camera. We're going to use it to demonstrate this new doohickey or this C-clamp that I got. Okay? Now, as you see, right here, we finna put that right there. Okay? We finna put that there. And we finna screw it up here. Okay. It's screwed in. And it's clamping the tabletop. Now, as you can see, I'm moving it. And it's not going anywhere. It's moving the table, but it's not going anywhere. Okay? Alright. Y'all see that, right? It's in there. Now, we finna try and move this camera. Let me see. We finna move you up so you can look up at this while I'm working with it, okay? Okay, we finna to add this camera on top and see how it works. Okay, okay, so, all right. We finna, okay, so it's all the way down. Let me see, can I let it up some more? This is the furthest it can go up. And y'all look at it. Now, it's up there to the highest. Okay? And again, it's still not going nowhere. Alright. Now, we finna move it back down. We are at the lowest level, but we finna demonstrate. Let me see. Am I demonstrating y'all? Am I do I got y'all on the camera? Let me see. Yep, yeah, got y'all on the camera. So we finna move this ball head. Okay, see how you can move this around. This can move to any direction. If I'm doing something over here with my crafts, I can put it on my crafts. If I'm doing something over here with my sewing machine, I can put it on my sewing machine. And that is the main purpose, you guys, why I got this. So I can demonstrate or I can do my crafts from all levels or all angles. Okay. And with that, you guys, I have so many struggles with these tripods. And I done got different tripods and different this. But you guys... I literally like this because it can hold my heavy camera if I got another heavy camera. And so if I know it'll hold this, it'll hold my lighter camera. And this thing says this actually is for a ring light. But I'm not going to put that my ring light on this when I could utilize it for my camera. And you guys, I literally like it. And this is my, my, um, ring light tripod and that do let up and down so the main purpose of this was to find something that i can clamp to my desk so i can move around when i'm doing my videos on my craft or doing videos of sewing or doing any type of videos that i have the luxury of moving this uh head around accordingly get what i'm saying you guys so y'all the demonstration is done I think I will be utilizing this, and I like it, and I think I will be ordering a second one. Okay, because 
If I want to do it in different directions, I can do that as well. Or if I want two cameras on me, I can do that too. Okay? Now, I am trying to get this office together. Okay? So, yes, I have I put up an I have not put up the video yet, but it will be coming out. Another video on y'all see that is the, the camera stand and it's on um uh, amazon and i will put that link up to there and i ordered it it came maybe like a week and a half ago and y'all i'm just not opening it just putting it together and so yeah it was 28 28 98 it was 28 98 and yep yeah. And they got some that's more expensive, but I got the mid-length one, okay? And with that, you guys, make sure you go and check it out. And if you're struggling like me with your tripod, and you're trying to figure out what you need to do to get these angles right, then guess what? Y'all, this comes in handy. And this one right here that I got, this little tabletop Mm, I'm about to retire it because the ball head on here, but again, this ball head screw off and it just, y'all, I be looking at stuff on these things and I'm like, I could utilize that ball head for something else if I don't want the tripod. Uh, I could utilize this uh, uh, nut or this bolt on here. If You know, that's how you got to do that. Especially if you want to stay in budget and you frugal like me, okay? And the stuff actually work, Okay. <laughs> And you guys, I just finished working out. Yes, I just finished my run. I had to get out, y'all. I had to run today. And I ran from my house to the park, which is a nine-mile run. And I did the run walk method. And y'all, it felt so good to be out. And the pollen level was not so bad. So hopefully my allergies will not kick butt later. Okay? But again... I wanted to come in and do this video or this demonstration of this because I do intend to use it for my next craft. Okay, so I wanted to come in and show you guys what I was working with and how I will utilize it. And you guys know this is not a sponsored video. I told you guys anything that I ordered that I think that would help somebody else, I'm going to put it out there, okay? That's just me. Because if it helps me, it might help somebody else. And somebody else might be struggling just like me with tripods and trying to figure out, hey, my lighting is not good here, but it's good over there. Maybe if I had something that can stand there and do this, you know, you never know. But again, I will put a link. And if you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share the video. Share it with your friends so they can become our neighbors and welcome them to the neighborhood, okay? So we can continue to talk business in this neighborhood. And let me throw out my plug while I'm in there, okay? So, you guys, any and everything that you like and see that I'm making, y'all, it's already in the store. So, if you would go to my store and look and support the business, I would appreciate it. Go to candycanecorners.com. And look and see, buy and support, okay? And with that, you guys, y'all stay blessed, stay faithful, stay humble, and most of all, be kind to everyone you meet. And again, if you must do something for someone, y'all please do it out of love. That is in Corinthians 16 and 14. And that is my motto for my business, okay? So go ahead on over there and check that out. And also, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, do all that necessary goodness for your neighbor, okay? And with that, you guys, I am going to say... Thank mm -hmm. you.